In this next lesson, we're going to be creating and solving inequalities from word problems. So, the first example, the hard drive on your computer has a capacity of 120 gigabytes. You have used 85 gigabytes. You want to save some videos onto your hard drive. What are the possible sizes of video collection that you can save? So, the first thing we want to do is understand what we're reading. So, you have a total of 120 gigabytes. So, I'm going to write 120 there and I've already used 85 okay so I already know that I can't use that for my videos but I want to add something to this 85 okay so I'm adding because I'm gonna add videos to your hard drive and it cannot be more than 120 so I'm going to put a less than or equal to because it could equal 120 so my equation that I'm actually going to be solving is 85 plus V is less than or equal to 120. Okay, so I got that from the problem, and now I solve. So I subtract off the 85 from both sides, and I get V is less than or equal to 120 minus 85, which is 35. So what that means is your video collection has to be less than or equal to 35 gigabytes. And that's your final answer. In this next example, a club has a goal of selling at least 25 plants for a fundraiser. The club members sell 8 plants on Wednesday and 9 on Thursday. What are the possible numbers of plants the club can sell on Friday to meet their goal? Okay, so they want to sell at least 25 plants, so their goal, their total, is 25. Then we have to put in an equality symbol, and then we have to do something over here with the number of plants. Okay, so we have to do something with plants. But they've already sold eight plants and nine plants. So that would be eight plus nine on Wednesday and on Thursday. But then they're going to also have to sell more plants. So it should be eight plus nine plus whatever they saw on Friday. So this was Wednesday and then added Thursday and then you're going to add Friday. So, and it needs to be more than, greater than or equal to 25. All right, so my final problem that I'm going to be doing is 8 plus 9 plus P is greater than or equal to 25. 8 plus 9 is 17 plus P, which is greater than or equal to 25. Subtract the 17 to solve for P. So P is greater than or equal to 8. Now, what that means is the club needs to sell 8 or more plants on Friday. And that's just to meet their goal. So eight or more, and they meet their goal. Next, we have another problem here that's slightly different. You walk dogs in your neighborhood after school. You earn $4.50 per dog. How many dogs do you need to walk in order to earn at least $75? Okay, so we want to earn $75, so that is my total. Okay, and then we want to earn more than or equal to. It could be exactly $75 or it could be more. So that's my inequality symbol. Now I have to do something with the dogs. Okay, and I make a certain amount of money, $4.50 for every dog that I have. So I have the number of dogs and I need to do something with the $4.50. Okay, so for every dog I walk, if it's one dog, then I get 450. If it's two dogs, then I get 450, and another 450, which is 450 times two. 
it's three dogs, it's times three. So I'm going to multiply because I get 450 for every single dog that I walk. Okay, so 450 times D is greater than or equal to 75. And then I divide by 450. And when I do that, I get D is greater than or equal to 16.667. It keeps on going. Now, I can't walk half of a dog. It's either a whole dog or no dog. So that means I'm going to round it up because it has to be bigger than 16.667. And so I can't go down to 16. I have to go up to 17 in this case. 17 dogs. So you need to walk at least... 17 dogs to earn $75. For this next example, a student club plans to buy food for a soup kitchen. A case of vegetables costs $10.68. The club can spend at most $50 for the project. What are the possible numbers of cases that the club could buy? So they will spend no more than $50, so at most, so it has to be a less than or equal to $50, but each of the cases, every single one of the cases is going to be $10.68, so $10.68 for every case that they buy, so 1068 times C. So what I'm going to have is 1068C is less than or equal to 50. So I'm multiplying, so to get rid of it, I need to divide by 10.68. And C is less than or equal to uh, 4.68. But you can't buy 0.68 of a case and they don't have enough money to buy five cases. So what that means is C has actually got to be less than or equal to four because you have to buy a full case. So my final answer is the club can buy four or fewer cases of vegetables. Okay, so that's your final answer. Example 5, you want to make a rectangular banner that is 18 feet long. You have no more than 48 feet of trim for your banner. What is the possible widths of the banner? So the first thing we need to note is our perimeter is the same thing as the trim. We're talking about going on the outside. So we're looking for perimeter, and we know that P is equal to 2 times our length plus 2 times our width. So I know I can have uh, no more than 48. So 48 is greater than or equal to uh, my perimeter, which is 2 times my length plus 2 times my width. But I actually know my length is 18. So I'm going to put 18 in there. So 48 is greater than or equal to 2 times 18, which is 36, plus 2w. And now I solve that. So subtract the 36. Then I get 12 is greater than or equal to 2 times w. And then I can divide by 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6, which is greater than or equal to w. You may also write it as W is less than or equal to 6. Those mean the same thing. But both of those things mean that the width has to be between 0, and, zero feet and 6 feet. It can't be less than zero because you can't have a negative length or a negative width. So that's why it says it has to be between zero and six. So that is your final answer. 
And the final example, in a community garden, you want to fence in a vegetable garden that is 12 feet long. You have at most 42 feet of fence. What are the possible widths? of your garden. Okay, so we're going to build this the same way, remembering that A, oh sorry, the perimeter around the garden is equal to 2L plus 2W. So we have a length of 42 feet. So 42 is greater than or equal to, because it has to be less than that. You can't use more than 42 feet. 2 times my length plus 2W. So 42 is greater than or equal to 2 times 12 plus 2W. And then when I go on the next step, I can multiply. 42 is greater than or equal to 24 plus 2W. Now I subtract the 24. And I get 42 minus 24, which will actually give me an 18 which is greater than or equal to 2 times w. So I can divide by 2, divide by 2, and 9 is greater than or equal to w, or you may write w is less than or equal to 9. It does not matter which order you write it in, because they both mean that the width is between 0 feet and 9 feet because again you can't have a negative amount a negative width a negative length so between 0 and 9 and that is your final answer so those are your notes over creating and solving inequalities. Go through the practice problems. Make sure you understand the different types of questions that could be asked of you, and then you can be ready for your quiz.